Welcome to part three of the ultimate guide to selling internationally using Magento and M2E Pro. And what we're doing in this very quick tutorial is that we're just going to pause just to cover what you're about to do with Magento, M2E Pro and eBay. So we've broken this down into a couple of steps to give you this insight to what you're going to be doing. And the first thing we're going to be doing, Dave, is... We're going to be adding in two new Magento store views into our system. And the reason for that is that we're assuming that you're going to want to break your orders out for the different eBay sites. So you want to see what's been sold on eBay Germany and separate yourselves for eBay Australia. Now, this is an optional step, but we're guessing you do want maximum control and it's really easy to do. And we'll show you how to set that up. Once we've done that, we're then going to be adding in the additional currencies to Magento. And if you remember back to the first tutorial, this is so that you can have maximum control of your pricing later on. And this is the step which caught me out twice. And we'll show you how to enable this so that later on, when you go to create a price and quantity policy with an M2E Pro, that you don't get stuck at this stage and you've got them enabled already. In your Magento site. Once we've got those sorted we're then going to show you how to set up your transactional email templates for your new store views because if we're going to be selling into the German marketplace then chances are we're going to be want to be sending them the transactional emails in German which is going to require new templates. That's right. And of course, we're also going to be setting up Australia too. But of course, if you were going following our advice from the previous tutorial, that you're going to be focusing upon the US and the Australia, or again, if you're based in the United States, that could be the United Kingdom and Australia and the other variation of that as well, is that you may want to put some spelling differences in there as well. And again, the reason why we're choosing Germany and Australia, because it's like the most obvious difference between the two. One is in German and the other one is in English. So nice stark contrast between those two. Next up, Matt, we then look at adding in the new pricing attributes that we're going to be using for these new store views and also how to add those to the attribute sets. Now, this is part two of that maximum control that we just spoke about. That's right. Really straightforward. So we're sure you've done this before and it's just going to be drag and drop easy. But it does give you granular control over the pricing for your products on the international eBay marketplaces. We're then going to be enabling the eBay DE or eBay Germany and eBay Australia sites with an M2E Pro. That sounds kind of scary, Dave, but it's two drop down boxes. So easy. <laughs> drop them down, press a button, job done. That's what I like to hear. And once we've done that, we're then going to be creating two brand new listing groups and all of the associated policies that we need to go with them. That's right. So that's actually going to be quite a big tutorial for us to go through. But again, you've used them to ePro before. It's really straightforward to do. So it's just going to be a little bit of a longer one, but dead, dead simple to do. We're also going to be pausing to look at the localization of listing templates with Widget Chimp. So if you are a premium subscriber of Understanding E, then you do get a Widget Chimp subscription included, and that does include the responsive listing template builder. And we'll show you how to customize that for the different international eBay sites so that the links work, for example. So if you're listing onto eBay Australia, the links in there keep the customer within eBay Australia. And then when it comes to Germany, the listing, maybe you want to translate the side blocks or the description header, for example, that will show you how to do that as well. And then Dave, the pinnacle of this entire course, we're going to be listing our first products internationally using Magento and M2E Pro. And that's it. That will be it. We will have taken it from zero to listing internationally or cross-border trade, as eBay have coined it, using Magento and M2E Pro. And the good news is, Matt, that from now onwards, it's all practical stuff. Yeah, all practical. This is the end of the theory. So let's wrap this one up very quickly and say, let's do this. So for myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So for myself, Matt, and of course, Dave, too, we both hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, we'd both really appreciate a thumbs up on YouTube, either at the top of this video or down at the bottom. 
So on screen right now, we have the next part of this tutorial. So if you just click on the next tutorial button, which is in the top right hand part of the screen, you'll head on over there right now. If you would like to be notified of the latest video tutorials that myself and Dave publish on YouTube, then also press the subscribe button underneath this video as well. And with that said, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Matt and Dave.